a person that is feeling anxious what did you say anxious depression anxious depression or someone that is interested in african spirituality put yourself in a position to serve because most likely that feeling a need for god complex that feeling a need to be important serve Mm -hmm. don't look for opportunities to be god look for an opportunity to be a servant Mm -hmm. because when you find even that whole god complex it's a terrible it has nothing it's not it, it's not about anything that's happening around you. You don't care about anybody that's happening around you. You want to put yourself in a position to be worshipped. Basically. Because you're afraid of not having control. Yeah. It's a symptom of, oh, I don't have control. So I'm looking for all the ways that I can have control in my life. Mm-hmm. And that's not your place. So mm-hmm. if you want to feel important, if you want to feel love, if you want to feel um, a sense of belonging, serve. Mm-hmm. That is the answer. Yeah. Service. And I tell people that all the time, if you feel like God is quiet, or if you feel like God is in your neighborhood, but he's not coming to you, Mm -hmm. serve. Mm -hmm. All the things that you see, oh, God, you working on this person, and everything's happening for them, nothing happening for me. Because when you're in that anger, that is when the adversary is going to work. It's like, oh, you're upset with God. Perfect. Bet. Bet. I know exactly what to do with that hostility. I'm going to make you believe that you can do a better job than he can. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens. So serve. That is the answer. Serve. Mm. And love. That is what's going to break it. So put yourself in position. If there's anything happening in your community where you can get involved with philanthropy or go into a local shelter or anything like that, put yourself in a position of service because then you are actively working on your return. Yeah. You're actively working on your return. God, mm. look at what I'm doing. And you don't even got to say, God, look, he sees it. Right. Your heart is in a proper space. You're like, you know what, God? My life, I feel stuck. I don't feel progressive. Mm. So I'm going to take care of other people which is the minute. opposite of what the world tells us to do. yeah the world says when Hustle. you feel yeah when you, when you feel like you're not doing anything right the world says grind harder no yeah, manifest yeah <laughs> right i'm not gonna do any of that i'm gonna put myself in a position to where i can help other people yeah because that that sacrifice that thinking about with jesus say turn the other cheek is mm. that's what that's about so mm-hmm. if i'm in a position to where i feel like somebody some things are not happening for me I'm going to put myself in a position to serve. Because yeah. maybe I don't need to focus on me right now. Right. Maybe somebody else needs some yeah. love. Maybe somebody else needs some support. Maybe somebody else needs prayer. So start showing up for other people if you feel like you're in a stagnant space in your life. Don't yeah. get hostile. Don't get angry. Anger is the number one Ooh. emotion. That is what Saying say, loves that you. is what the adversary is going to use to then put you in a position. You anger with your mother, anger yeah. with your father, anger. Any kind of anger that puts you in a place where you say... I can do a better job mm-hmm. than you. That I've is, said that. Yeah. I've said that in the past. Yes. It's a it's a natural human emotion to feel anger, yep. but to submit to it and to align with it, to befriend it. And then, and then even to add that, it's not yeah. it's not saying that you cannot be angry because if you, God tells you, be angry, but sin not. Sin not. Right? That's the second part that comes after yeah. it. And it been times where I've been so angry, it's like, and it was like, I feel like I was telling me, turn the other cheek. I'm like, God, I ain't got no more cheeks to turn. <laughs> I ran out. I only got two. I got to slap them over them. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But, yo, saying dudes, even the testimonies I was telling you about, they, demons wanted to infiltrate this man's prayer meeting that mm-hmm. was so powerful that it locked up demons for 70 years where he couldn't operate in a certain region. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's how powerful. That's how much power God has given you us. Gotta know. But in order to infiltrate the system, mm-hmm. they sent two demons to infiltrate the whole um Mm. and how he got them to break and welcome them in without spiritual without even realizing it is wow. by getting one of them angry where oh. she broke out of her holiness mm-hmm. you get what i'm saying i was and i was just like wow it's the it, any it's a but he makes trauma happen to you so you could have that anger yeah. the spirit of anger to control you yeah it, it's just it's the, it becomes a distraction think of mm-hmm. what what made peter start to sink when he was walking to jesus distraction you yeah. cannot break your focus and if th- if there's a moment of silence from god where you feel like the teacher is quiet okay yeah you just accept it right now i'm praying i feel like it's not happening you know what let me see the miracles that's happening in other people's lives so i can stay encouraged yeah that's how you stay encouraged yeah i've stuck you, people be like oh don't watch what don't watch what nobody else got going on i do do it with I a do. good heart with a good heart not I'm looking watching, to be jealous right. but looking to be encouraged not looking to be jealous but looking to be encouraged if i'm feeling like i'm in a raw and that's what i didn't do when i was feeling what i was feeling i was so emotional and i just was kind of so busy standing on business that i wasn't really paying attention to what god was doing in the lives of other people i really wasn't and so i allowed 
the adversary to talk me out of God's goodness because mm. I was not bearing witness on purpose mm. because I was hostile. Mm. Don't get hostile. So that's my answer. Anybody that is feeling like, you know what, this God thing ain't working for me, shh. Mm. Mindful. Be mindful of what you say because yeah. it'll be in that moment that where you feel like you're about to break that a miracle will come your way, mm -hmm. but you denounce it. Right. When you cast out and say, I don't want nothing to do with the Holy Spirit, I don't want to, when you start saying stuff like that because you're so angry, you miss, mm -hmm. you skip, you let go, you yeah. relinquish yeah. your inheritance. You yeah. don't want to do that. Yeah. So that's my response. For sure. I would say that. Serve. Serve. And let other people encourage good. you. And, and serving is not always just going out and feeding the homeless. Mm -hmm. Serving could be your friend who's going through it and giving an ear to listen yeah. and playing with them. You, get, you got a friend that just had a baby. Watch her kid. Watch her kid. So she can have Bring two some hours, two hours you of get her. Right. To, to a self care, they just say, go go get your nails and I got your baby, go ahead. Bring just, them some food, like cook, go. Mm -hmm. I know you're tired, you just probably had a C-section or a vaginal yeah. and you you are uh, ripped. I'm gonna come cook for you. So serving mm -hmm. is just so many ways take to serve. Take your mom out, take your dad out. Right. You get what I'm saying? Um, Dog sit. <laughs> no, like seriously. You can't send somebody on vacation, watch the animals. Just, there's so many ways to serve. It's mm -hmm. not just, oh, if I have to go find a homeless shelter, because you know, we find excuses. Yeah. No. And your gifts. That's your best service. God give, when, give the gab. When you have, when you have gifts to speak or to sing or to dance or to any, any gifts that God gives you to draw, to paint. Any I'll give gifts. you one. And God, I'm saying it from a, um, a good place like mm -hmm. and to correct me or shut me up if I'm wrong I love to cook yeah. I enjoy cooking mm -hmm. right I invited friends over to eat not no bring a dish no just bring your stomach like I told you mm -hmm. bring your body just come enjoy it because yeah. that's still an act of service it is community, community. bringing people together because community is so important mm -hmm. did, when three did, did, gather, did the same come gather. and try to be like when it was at Whole Foods I was like it doesn't have to be organic. It could just be. And I was here, God, like, give if you're not you going to want. feed yourself, that, so why would you feed your give, friends? Give yourself that? what you want. want. It's true. You know, that's mm -hmm. don't be cheap. Don't. The way you be, you feed yourself the way. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell you, stop spending your money. So when you spend on your friends, you're not complaining. This is guy yelling at me. <laughs> Every time. You know he check me, chin check me. Like, yeah. So if you keep spending your money the way you spend your money, how are you going to serve people yeah. and bless people and ask you to do it? Because mm -hmm. you ain't got no money left. I'm like, all right, no God, look, it's a Friday. How you traveling? Where you going? No money. Right? So serving could be anything. You know that your friend is lonely. You know that you, uh, uh, your married couples or your friend just went through a breakup. Is going Fight them over. Yeah. Chill, talk. Give them the time to just, someone just lost someone. Check in on them. Tell yeah. them, hey, let's go hang out. I you think know? that's the best. That's the best. Community thing. is so important because, because hopelessness is a lie. Mm. Hopelessness is a lie. So if you ever feel yourself feeling that emotion, just know that the adversary is watching you. Any opportunity, foothold, God call he's it. He's watching you. Waiting for an opportunity to come in. Hopelessness is what takes people's lives. Mm. Hopelessness yeah. is what causes people to take their own lives. Yeah. Hopelessness is what causes people to harm other people in mm. ways that they shouldn't. Yeah. Hopelessness, that's literally, when you feel like there is no hope because you have fallen, you have succumbed so far to your darkest thoughts, mm. that is what hopelessness is. So the best way to come out of that is to spot it as the lie it is. I have to call it in mm. itself. It's a lie. Oh, it's a lie. And yeah. then you spot it. It's like, oh, okay. Now what do we do? I see. I see this pattern here. Mm. You you trying to, somebody's watching me. Okay, cool. In that moment, I'm going to give hope to somebody else. Mm. That's the best way to combat anything is to do the exact opposite of what the adversary will want you to do. If I'm feeling hopeless, I get to be angry. I get to be upset. Mm. I get to lash out. No, no. Do the exact yeah. opposite. Yeah. Jesus told us what to do with hopelessness. Yeah. He told us what to do with anger. He told us what to do with wrath. He told us what to do with every emotion you could possibly experience yeah. as a human being. That's yeah. why Yeshua is just so good to have come down in physical form yeah. and give us a book. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like give us a, a complete literally. guide. A complete guide and saying, listen, this is what I went through. And I, I didn't even get a chance to write, every, I didn't get a chance to write everything down, but the people that I helped did. That's how you know you've done something. Yeah. Legacy don't got nothing to do with how well you've been a person. It has to do with the people you've brought Influence, with yeah. you. So that, serve. Don't 
that's the way you come back that stuff yeah. don't ever sit in that emotion feel it mm-hmm. like Roberta was saying emotions are real they're human you feel it but you don't stay in there you do the exact opposite of what you know the adversary would expect from you yeah. and then God can use you yeah and come and, and start showing you all of the ways because you get to the bottom of yourself you're just like listen I got to start being God-like. I got to do what God would want me to do so that I can see something different. Insanity is doing the same thing. Yeah. Expecting different results. If what I've been doing ain't working, I got to do something else. Right. Being negative with the negativity ain't going to work. Yeah. I got to be positive. That's what's going to cancel it out. Yeah. So. Dang. That's a word. (laughs) 